Hello there and welcome to this week's Granny's Garden. Now this is the third and final part of how to get rid of invasive vines. In part one what I did was separate the stump from the vine itself. And that enabled me to be able to paint branch by branch with a stump killer which would eventually die over the course of six weeks. Part two was having to remove from the chain link fence bit by bit 20 years of six vines growing and intertwining with that fence so that was quite a job. Today in part three it is to remove every single one of those stumps, the large ones and the little ones, then fill in all the holes, level it down and then hang a privacy screen onto that fence and then to be able to say you it's done. Now just because you have a vine like this on the actual fence itself doesn't mean that after 20 years of growing a vine that the stumps are going to be the same. Some of them are smaller like this one and come out quite easily but then as you can see after 20 years some of them are almost like trees so digging them out is not at all easy. See the size of this one? That's like a medium-sized tree. Today we're going to be hanging this brown uh, privacy screen on the chain link fence. It's got these reinforced rings on all four sides, so top, bottom and the two sides, and comes in 10 metre lengths. So, so this is about 25 metres, I've got uh, two 10 metre ones and one 5 metre one. It also came with two little cords, as I presume goes in and out of the, the fence, and the zip ties. Now, as you can see, there are still some parts of the branch of the vines that we've left. And if I can get close, let's see if you can see it. It is so inside, it's completely engulfed by the branch. And if I was trying to cut this out any further, I would end up making a hole or damaging the chain link fence itself. So in this particular case, because it's got no roots and it's just going to die, I'm going to let Mother Nature take over. This will eventually, over the next, say, a year or year and a half, will rot and then it'll be just to be easy just to get hold of your hand and peel it off that way. So I'm not going to risk damaging the chain link fence anymore. So if I pull back now, you can see that it's looking a lot cleaner. The whole of the fence line is now covered with the cloth. It's been completely filled in all the holes that we made. You'd never realize that it had been 20 years of six types of growing vines here in the first place. And all of this area is now clean for planting shrubs, which is what I wanted. Well, normally gardeners would be taking the month of December and January certainly a lot easier trying to build up energy for the coming growing season. Unfortunately, uh, in this garden I had two major jobs uh, waiting for this winter. One was the removal of the alder tree and the other was the final stage of the removal of the invasive vines. But thankfully we're now going to go into the new growing season of 2021 with these big weights off my shoulder. So I'm going to wait for you in this new growing season next Friday here in Granny's Garden. Bye-bye now. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>